You can install Windows on Raspberry Pi, I already did a video about this, but the process was not straightforward at all. Hard to understand, dozens of images with half of them not working, formatting and boot issues, etc. In this video, I will show you the easiest way to test Windows 11 on your Raspberry Pi, so stay tuned and follow my lead. The only things you will need to try this is a Raspberry Pi, an SD card and a USB drive to put Windows on it. Ideally, use a Raspberry Pi 4 and a SSD, but you can try with what you have and see how it goes. We'll do everything directly from the Raspberry Pi, you don't even need another computer. First, install Raspberry Pi OS on it and do the system updates. Enable the USB boot and set it by default with Raspi config. If you are just getting started on Raspberry Pi and don't know how to do this, it's probably better to stay on Raspberry Pi OS and learn the basics first. I explain everything in my course if you need some help about this. Pi Apps is a nice tool for any Raspberry Pi user. It helps you to install applications that are not included in the default repositories, or hard to install and configure. Go to their GitHub page and copy the command line to install it. Wait a few seconds and you are ready to move to the next step. Once Pi Apps installed, you'll find it in the main menu, under Accessories. We'll use it to install War Flasher. War stands for Windows on Raspberry. You'll find it under the Tools section of Pi Apps. Click on it and then click on Install to start the installation. Pi Apps will do everything for you, so that you don't need to use any command line to install the tool. After a few seconds, War will be installed and we can move to the next step. War Flasher will also be available in the main menu, under Accessories. Start it and follow the wizard to answer a few questions. It will ask your language, the Windows version you want and the Raspberry Pi model you use. You'll also need to plug your USB drive to flash Windows on it. Then, click on Flash to start the process. See this tool as the Raspberry Pi Imager to install Windows. This step will take a long time. The tool will download everything and copy the files to the USB drive. An SSD and good internet connection can speed up the process a bit, but you need to be patient anyway. This message will pop up once everything is ready. It means you can move to the next step. In my first try, I got an issue with the disk formatting because my disk was not formatted correctly. If you have the same issue, you can simply fix it by installing gparted with Pi Apps. Then delete all the partitions from the USB disk and start with a new partition table. It should work fine after that. When you use War Flasher from your Raspberry Pi, it doesn't install a complete image of Windows on the USB drive. There are some additional tasks that need to be completed before really starting on Windows. You don't have anything to do, but it will require to be patient again. I have no idea how much time it took, I just leave it running for a few hours, and it was done. After a while, it will reboot a few times and open a wizard to complete the installation. Nothing complicated here. Just answer the few questions to complete the system configuration. It will ask you a few things, like language, time zone or keyboard layout. There are many loading times, but no particular issues with this part. Sadly, you'll need a Microsoft account to start a new session. I know it's becoming harder and harder to avoid it on PC, but I didn't find any way to skip it while testing this. If you find a way, let me know in the comments. Anyway, after a while and a lot more loading times, 
the system will finally complete the boot and the Windows 11 interface will show up. From there, you can use your system as on any computer. I didn't find any major issue, even while testing with beta versions, so it seems pretty stable. The main issue is the performances. Even the best Raspberry Pi model is quite limited and Windows is not optimized at all for it, so you have to be patient with everything. It's decent if you absolutely need Windows and can't afford a computer, but I won't keep it as my main system on a Raspberry Pi. There are way better options out there, as you can see in this video where I tested the most popular with funny benchmarks like the time to boot. Watch it if you are open to use Linux distributions instead. And please like the video if you learned something or just want to support me.